Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all well. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched my last vlog where I talked about um, being in a different place and not knowing your way around and being in a in a different store and just how it makes you feel because I, I honestly was sitting in the car thinking, this is crazy. Like the fact that I'm feeling this can't be normal. Um, and pretty much everyone in the comment section totally understood what I was going through and how it felt. And so thank you so much. Um, I felt very validated. Um, but yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you that watched that vlog. And I'm sorry there was a gap in between. Um, the week just didn't week. <laughs> Nothing really happened and I thought well I can't just film me getting my toast every morning and me sitting there you know binge watching Gilmore Girls again so um yeah sorry for the break um we have done a couple of things um we've had a couple of really good weeks today I know I'm trying to tell them George mm -hmm. today um I have got somebody coming even though I said I'm not making any more phone calls. I'm not getting any more work done. Um, a couple of things did need doing in my eyes quite urgently. Um, and again, it's one of those things that as a DIYer, yes, you could probably do yourself. If you are into that kind of DIY, you could watch a couple of YouTube tutorials and get the job done. But not me, <laughs> not me. A, I don't want to get up a ladder, and B, I don't know, I, I just, I want it done properly. And I'm not the kind of person to do stuff properly. I'm the kind of person to do stuff good enough, you know, good enough for now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take you outside because they're going to be here very, very soon. If you remember, oh, I'm getting caught. So if you guys remember, I got a cleaner when we first moved in. I got a cleaner to clean our bedroom because I wasn't doing very well and I was a bit overwhelmed and everything was a bit much. So I got a cleaner um, and again, I'll put them on the screen. I mentioned them in the last vlog because it's almost like they do everything. Um, I think it's North Ant's cleaning squad again, but I'll put it down below. So I got a cleaner and then her partner came and actually um, carried boxes up to my top floor, my top floor art room. He carried boxes up and then about a week later, I got him to come back and he actually ripped a cupboard out for us. Now again, ripping a cupboard out, I just felt like was going to be something easy for me to do. But like he said, it was one of the best built cupboards he's ever ripped out it was overkill on how much wood was used and honestly he was up there for about an hour using serious um tools <laughs> electric tools and he took away a lot a lot of debris he took everything with him the whole cupboard in its entirety smashed into pieces of wood anyway so he's done that for us so the last few days we've actually been quite productive in the garage and we have done a lot of sorting out it doesn't look like it right now but trust me we couldn't actually walk in a straight line to the back of the garage a week ago so we came in here we moved everything around played Jenga and um yeah started getting organized these are all boxes guys that were in our old house and right now we've got nowhere for them in this house <laughs> so we're in trouble <laughs> um okay so at the back we've got one of my calaxes from my craft room in the old house couldn't fit in this house um that's just storage and then we've got another calax here holding some boxes with storage again we've still got boxes upon boxes upon boxes and i was getting excited because i want the fridge freezer from our old house to be in the garage a garage fridge freezer i mentioned it in a previous vlog and i was worried about whether it would be okay like in the winter and and so many of you gave me advice about changing the settings and you guys have got fridge freezers in your garages and they're absolutely fine oh well now it didn't occur to me it didn't occur I'm not very good sorry I'm not very good with mold and fur 
it didn't occur to me that this fridge freezer has been sitting here since we've moved in it is now what the 11th 12th of october we moved in here the 2nd of september and this fridge freezer doors closed no electricity running through it has been sitting here all that time well it didn't occur to me it didn't occur to me so i shimmied it's very big and very heavy i shimmied the fridge freezer from here all the way to the back of the garage plugged it in which is really handy we've got electric in here and then then i opened the doors to tell you my soul left my body was, is an understatement <laughs> how i didn't pass out and throw up right there and then i don't know but the one thing i cannot deal with is fur and fuzzies and mold claire get a grip just spray it down wipe it don't look i can't i can't do it i can't do it i can't so i immediately <laughs> i swear they're now like my go-to company for everything um i immediately contacted rebecca at north ads clean i'm gonna again i'll put it on the screen facebook page um i immediately contacted her and i was like hey sos um and she's coming today she's coming today <laughs> literally obviously i'm paying right guys it is a company a legit company and i'm paying her to do the job but when i tell you i appreciate someone's take my money take take <laughs> like the tiktoks take my money just get it cleaned um so she's coming today to fully scrub this out now i'm happy to show you the inside of it it might not be as bad as some of you are thinking but if you are queasy in any way in any way please look away now because i'm going to show you the inside of the fridge freezer I cannot. I cannot. She's coming. <coughs> she said it's going to look like brand new when we're done. And that's absolutely fine. The fridge freezer itself is perfectly working. And so I'm not going to get a new one for mould. Um, but she's coming today to do that. The other job that we need doing urgently is some guttering. If you guys were with me a couple of vlogs back, we had all of the gutters of our house done. Um all brand new all the way along we went from um white to black and um it's very very smart very lovely but the company that we got to come out and do the gutters um he's called the gutter guru on facebook and he was great and he was very friendly and he got the job done it took him a few hours to do the whole house got the job done we are having an issue with this corner no this corner <laughs> I'm thinking this is the, this corner we're having an issue here um, the rain literally pours straight off straight off it can't cope with the 90 degree angle um, sadly he has pretty much ghosted me since I messaged him um, with a video asking if the, there was anything we could do like could we put a downpipe I was thinking we could put a downpipe from the gutter coming down here um and thinking that would help put take the pressure off of the corner this is the corner this is where i think a downpipe should come what doing this backwards is actually so hard okay the water comes from this direction and flies around that corner and i want a downpipe here to alleviate some pressure on the corner um or on the corner but to me it just makes more sense to have a downpipe just before it hits the corner and that's what I want that's not happening today what is happening today when I was in the garage reorganizing everything moving everything around I noticed a huge 
wet patch where water is penetrating through the brick of the garage which is not ideal and that is because of this guttering now the gutter guru was going to come back and do all of this for me but when i asked him about this issue he has ignored me ever since and i have since learned from the facebook pages that he's not one to come back or ever talk to you again to fix any problems so the gutter guru don't use him anyway this is the gutter we have um it is gray you can see that it is gray it is old there is a crack here it's leaking from this join and this join and of course i don't know how many years this has been going on but it is completely saturating the wall of the garage and then it gets to this point here this is a huge problem area this wall stays saturated at all times it's never dry and of course this is where all of the water is penetrating into the garage giving me that huge wet patch now honestly um it just needs to be redone we're actually going to get a new downpipe hopefully i'm gonna get a downpipe from the corner into a water butt so i've ordered the water butt that's from b and q um i've ma I got a massive one like 230 liters 75 pounds it comes with the attachments the taps and the diversion valve so rebecca's partner michael who's part of the whole north ants cleaning squad he does guttering <laughs> he does guttering as well so they're both coming this morning while she sorts out the fridge freezer michael is going to measure up and we're going to talk about what i think we're going to need um going forward to really really sort out this situation so i mentioned before when we had some bricklayers come around um he had to pin the garage because there was a big crack in the garage here so he's almost used resin to pin it to itself so it doesn't move anymore but this whole area here that's unpainted this was a trellis and a rose bush and it was beautiful but it was creating problems for him i i we needed it all gone to fix the garage now that has left this huge tree stump here it's massive and it's also blocking the pipe here can you see that hole in the pipe there's a rusty hole in the pipe that is because the pipe has completely filled up the pipe is going down into the ground which i just don't think is ideal which could have contributed to the garage cracking and the garage getting water in in it um i need to try and remove this and either have the water butt here right here so the downpipe can just be kind of like in the same place or put the water butt down here so if michael thinks the water butt would be better here then i'm gonna have to get rid of this tree <clears throat> or get michael to do it. <laughs> get michael to do it so this is an urgent for me this is an urgent situation that needs to dealing with right now we are entering <laughs> the rainiest season of my life like i've never known this much rain and this gutter is just forever pouring like there's no it's just not working um so we need fresh guttering hopefully to match the rest of the house and that's what michael is coming to do today and give us a quote for that but this is so bad um and knowing that all of this water is literally seeping through the bricks and and it's all wet on the floor in the garage it's not great it's not great and then by next summer everything should be fully dried out all of the bricks will be dry then we can deal with the garage walls and treat the bricks and paint them or seal them in even better do some re-rendering and yeah wow 30 minutes on the fact that i've got people coming again today <laughs> even though i didn't want to make any more phone calls but that's urgent because as soon as I saw the leak in the garage, that's why I was like, that's an urgent job. And it's one of those things, isn't it? When you move somewhere or you buy somewhere, you don't, you don't see, you don't see all of the things when you're viewing a house. Like as soon as we walked in this house to view it, oh, it's so cute. As soon as we walked in this house to view it, it, I just fell in love immediately and nothing else mattered and I told myself I wouldn't do that <laughs> I told myself 
I would not let my heart rule my head. But the minute we walked in here, it was game over. It was game over. I knew there'd be a lot of jobs to do, but because we viewed this house in the middle of summer, it was stunning. We were all sitting outside. You don't see the water damage of, the, of what's going on here, um, but it's all good. I'm just making my cup of tea and I'll never tire of this view. Oh, the other thing we had done, we had this handle fixed last week. Um, I only learned last week that this window never ever did fully close or lock. So I could turn this round, like I could do this, but then the whole window would just push open. The whole window had lost its bar. There's a bar inside windows with a lock here. There was nothing there. It was an empty void. Kind of illegal for them to sell it to us like that because you have to make decla declarations on the legal pack to say that all windows are in working order and everything works. This was completely bust. I couldn't actually understand where the breeze was coming from. Every time I got to the kettle, I was like, where is the wind coming from? And I was looking at the windows like, well, they're closed. And then every time I looked at this window, I was like, do you know what? There is a little, there's a gap. So I was kind of like looking, thinking, but it's closed. So, okay, we just need a new window eventually. But no, it wasn't closed at all, at all. This is as far as I've got so far. Now, the logic in removing this cupboard, this cupboard was a substantial cupboard. Not a cupboard we would ever use for storage or guests. Equally, if we keep it as a storage cupboard, we are going to fill it with storage and never open the doors again. So, got rid of it, um, all the way to the ceiling. This is actually going to allow us to have a single bed going this way. Um, that's not something we could have done before. Equally, a single mattress couldn't fit this way in the gap, so that's where the that's where the um, wardrobe ended, and this space here wasn't big enough for a single bed going this way. Equally, it could only fit a double bed this way, but that wasn't going to work for us because of having guests over to stay, having the grandchildren to stay, who obviously will need separate beds. So obviously, we've kept their bunk beds. And now we're going to be able to put a single bed running under the stairs and a single bed running this way. Equally, I was tempted to get, which I think there would be room for, would be a small double and a single here, just because then that's going to fit a lot more. Like, especially if an adult comes to stay, like Tim's friends or my mum or anyone like that would have a bigger bed. But I don't know if it's worth doing that for the fact that we probably would that would only happen like once a year you know like once a year twice a year so at the moment as it stands we're going to do single bed single bed and that's going to be enough for the grandchildren at this stage so now my next step is to take this mattress up get everything out finish hoovering and then start building these beds back up <laughs> So this is the spare room, the guest room, the children's, the grandchildren's room. Um, and I do have plans for this room. If George lets me do anything, I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad watching the footage back because he was literally my shadow. He is my shadow, follows me everywhere. But yeah, everything in this room has just kind of been dumped and all of that. But truth be told, there's not really anywhere for a lot of it to go. Um... I'm planning on putting up two single beds, as I mentioned, which means I will never, ever, I do not ever plan on building the bunk beds back up. The grandchildren don't like the bunk beds, even though they say, I want bunk beds because of Peppa Pig. Um, when I've got them up, the older one doesn't really like sleeping up the top. He doesn't, he just doesn't like it. So I have no plans in the future to put these bunk beds back into bunk beds. They're going to remain two single beds which means I do have quite a few bits to get rid of a lot of the framing and you know things that are just never going to be used again but we're playing Tetris we really are playing Tetris at the moment there's things that are going to be moved from this room into our main room with nowhere for it to go so I think that's the downside when you buy a house and you're buying a house to pretty much move into straight away it takes you a while to learn the space work out what can go where 
and this is me finding bags like my old bags that are just too good to get rid of and I still really really love them and I'm like well I might go out you know I might go out and I might need a bag so I'm gonna keep them even though I haven't used them in 10 years um but yeah this is the situation right now this room is priority I do have plans for this room to decorate it I know exactly how I want it to be but that is a future thing it's not going to happen anytime soon right now the priority is having the two beds fully built up and ready for the children when they come and stay and this is what we are looking like but the wall on the left it does need to be redone we've got electrical wires that need to be boxed in so again there's a lot of work to be done in this room and but I think it looks ever so nice with the two beds down it actually feels bigger than what you're seeing on camera I'm gonna get a, a little bedside table for in between the two and then the wicker chest has got all of our towels in but now I can get this chest of drawers in here which is amazing and additional storage which is great now after the last video, in the last video, you saw me go to B&Q and I bought some wood. This is what it was for. Um, I finished this off so that I could start filming. I, I got this footage a couple of weeks ago when I started filming for my other channel. But I no more nailed it to the to the wall above the window. And then I put some actual nails in. And then I put another piece of wood on top. I wanted it to be nice and chunky so my phone camera holders would actually grip it I had nothing for them to grip over here kind of genius I've put another one so if I'm ever filming for vinyl or if I'm filming for the heat press then I've got a camera there as well but walking George has become a pleasure now because of the leaves I mean it's always a pleasure guys it's always a pleasure but the leaves are all falling off the trees and I'm absolutely loving it and here is a close-up of the fireplace I didn't film a decorate with me for autumn because I literally just decorated the fireplace and I mean when I say decorated I just threw everything on there I've still got one big huge box filled with autumn decor that I just won't be using this year but I absolutely love it um some of you would have seen last year on my channel I got that gorgeous wicker pumpkin and the huge green material pumpkin I love it this is all I'm doing for autumn I'm not gonna lie I wish I had some really tall you know, it's really good to have height, but I don't have them. Candlesticks is what I was going to say. <laughs> they have just come out to Asda. I'm so excited. And why am I excited is because this is the furthest I've driven by myself. I know this is ridiculous, Claire. Get a grip. But in my defense, <laughs> I haven't really been in the mood to just get in the car and drive and just ha take have a feel, you know, get a feel for the roads. But yesterday i was just itching 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 to just get in the car and go um just just take yourself off drive around the roads how hard can it be and i'm saying to myself if you can drive if anyone knows the area if you can drive in essex around the m25 and a13 junction if you can drive around the huge multiple lane roundabout of lakeside quite confidently then you can drive around the quiet roads of this town. <laughs> That's what I was telling myself. So woke up this morning. It is a moody, dismal. It is. Let me show you. The, you can just see how bad this is. This is bad. my kind of weather. And I said to Tim, I think I'm going to go. I'm just going to get in the car, go to Asda. And the reason I'm excited about Asda is because we never had an Asda where we lived in Essex. Um, there was an Asda, it was about 20, 25 minute drive down the motorway. Was I going to go and do that? Absolutely not. We had a George at home. So I think Asda in the UK is like a Walmart or at least it was at one point owned by Walmart in America and Australia. And um, we had a George at home in Lakeside and I loved it. I just loved it in there. I got my bedding in there. I got my towels in there socks anything you need for the house and yourself and then it closed down don't ask me why it closed down but it closed down about a year ago i was absolutely saddened by it because i was like the one shop the one shop that is like affordable prices you know and it closed so i've not been into an asda for well over a year well over a year and we've got an asda in town and i just drove all the way here by myself 
and check this out. This is abysmal weather. Part of me thought if I go to Asdale, it's dismal, it will be quiet. But that was the biggest error because <laughs> no, everyone drives around here, Claire. They're not like you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in. I need slippers. Tim needs slippers. I need new socks um, and food, of course, and get it all in there. Get it all in there. As soon as I walked into Asda, it was literally just vats of pumpkins, like all pumpkins, small all the way through to extra large. I did pick up two small pumpkins for the children to do some pumpkin carving, and you will see a clip of that coming up soon. They did, um, they did, I would say, five percent of the work. <laughs> but they're just, they were a bit hard for little hands to carve properly. So they were asking for our help. But I'll be honest, um, we carved the pumpkins and these pumpkins rotted away within three or four days. I've never experienced that before. I've always carved pumpkins and they have lasted a couple weeks. But these were two inches of pure fur inside within three or four days so would not recommend as the pumpkins they weren't near a heat source or anything like that i literally sat them on the fireplace and they looked great on the fireplace and unfortunately they collapsed in on themselves and literally decayed within days so i don't know what went wrong there but um i don't know anyway they've got a cool halloween section like really cool again i'm not gonna be purchasing any more halloween i have got six boxes of Halloween decor and yeah don't know if I'll be decorating for Halloween this year we'll see we'll see if the mood takes me but a lot of the stuff does anyone else do this they're like in the supermarket and you're a crafter and you're thinking well I could make that well that's nice and all but I could make that like the candles with the drippy wax down the side like mm, do I buy that or do I make it <laughs> you're never gonna make it that's the thing but yeah, so, so much to see. This was adorable. A little jacket for George. Did I buy it? No. Life. I didn't like the green on it. If it was orange, I might have got it. But the green, it was just the wrong green. Anyone else see that? This was also cute. Like a tuxedo with a, 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 a like a, what do you call him? Dracula. Like a Dracula ruffled blouse and tuxedo and bow tie in the shape of a bat. Cute. This thing here, honestly, yeah, the try me button, obviously everyone's been trying it and the, the batteries have worn out. So it just looked like he was trying to be sick. <laughs> like it was, I, I have no idea what this was meant to be doing, but it looked like he'd had a bad night, a rough night. And he was the morning after heaving into the toilet. I'm not even kidding. That's all I could think about when I was pressing the button. But yeah, I did, I did fall in love with all the home magazines. I think I didn't get one I was very tempted to get a Christmas one but these magazines lure me in with their beautiful Christmas covers and then when I open them up I'm like yeah yeah <laughs> this Asda did have quite a good um clothing selection to be fair I, I didn't know what to expect but yeah I just really wanted to pick up socks for both of us because we just I don't know what is going on with our socks well we have a dog that's what's going on with our socks um I got him everything he needed pretty much immediately, like sli slippers, socks, pants, they were all there, he just wears these basic slippers, I got him a brown pair though, because they didn't have his size in the blue, um, and yeah, everything was there for Tim, but then when I went to the ladies section, the ladies, ugh, the slippers were all like pink and fluffy, and absolutely nothing I'd want or would wear, all just a bit, mm, so I'd say they came through with the men's underwear, but not really the women's. Although I did grab a couple of pairs of pyjamas because <laughs> you could never have too many pairs of pyjamas. Everything felt very dark in the coat, in the clothing section. I'm not going to lie. And then I saw these. Well, I had to, didn't I? So like I got, um, I got the three-year-old some gorgeous pajamas and then I got the six-year-old some Spider-Man because he is Spider-Man obsessed 
and yeah picked up this as well pumpkin carving kit i'll be honest i always stuff i always find them really really cheap and flimsy and rubbish but the pumpkin carving kit from asda was quality pure quality the blades were working perfect everything was perfect in that kit fully recommend i just don't recommend their pumpkins and then i saw the christmas guys oh my god they've got the advent calendars they've got the quality street and then candles I couldn't go home without buying a couple of candles. This one was new. Never heard of this. Let me know if you have. It's called wrapping paper or yeah, it was lovely. But I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, do I get a brand new candle at this size and like not like it after 10 minutes? But yeah, they look like they had some really kind of like I don't know if it's just the packaging looking super luxurious but um really wanted to try this rose and oud but they didn't have it in a candle form which was so sad oh, first world problems um but yeah some really really gorgeous gorgeous bits I ended up getting two candles which I will mention but um yeah one small and one big and they had some giant giant candles like I could never imagine burning a four or five wick candle I just think <laughs> that's excessive like it's so excessive it's practically a fire in the middle of your room um but again here I am I'm thinking I could make that I've seen people with this kind of silicon mold and making them out of jesmonite so yeah it's a funny it's a funny thing being a crafter or any kind of artist if you're out and about and you see stuff and you're like oh could do that on the heat press could I get some or I could do some sublimation like I've never done sublimation but I could <laughs> you know damn well you're never ever gonna actually do it um but yeah it's a, it's a funny old world um oven gloves we did need um we had two pairs of oven gloves in the old house cannot find either one so they must still be in a box but we are in need of oven gloves and it's easier to just buy another pair than it is to open the 26 boxes that we have left do you know what I mean sometimes it just is and then I picked up some water bottles for the children so cute I'm not so stressed today about the fact that I don't know where anything is like I never ever in my life um, did a proper food shop in Asda so the fact that I'm here doing it I'm actually not stressed at all because I don't know the store at all I'm quite enjoying it after I had too much fun, too much fun in all of the homeware section and the clothing section, I did actually have to go and buy some real life adult food. Um, the boring part, I absolutely do not like um, shopping for food. However, on this day, I think because it had been so long, loved it. And they've got mince pies out. Guys, I'm so excited for Christmas. I feel like I'm so busy working now back on my other channel that I'm missing I'm not missing life but time is flying past me and it's already the what the day I'm voiceovering this is the day it's going out so it's already the 20th of October and like Halloween's in 11 days and I feel like where's the time going you know I don't know <laughs> it's weird and I want to make sure that I am really really present for Christmas this year so yeah here's me looking at the eggs because again this is a new supermarket to me I very rarely have ever been in one let alone shopped it for food in one um just making sure the dates on the eggs are okay and then I picked up some hash browns and everything we need for the biggest dirtiest English breakfast right I just left it is currently quarter past 11 and I am oh my gosh I enjoyed that so much I have not been and done a physical food shop in such a long time that actually walking around was quite therapeutic and I need to remember that for the future because sometimes I think oh I'm just too busy and I'll get like a delivery and get them to come and do it but actually just existing and just walking around and just mooching and it was so relaxing now considering it's Saturday today I fully expected this place to be ramo jammed I expected the queues at the checkout to be crazy long and it's not. I think I'm just so used to everything in where I used to live being so crazy and so hectic all the time and it was so not straight on the checkout. Saturday 20 you know 
quarter past 11 in the morning honestly i was fully expecting it to be packed i got so many things so many things i never went in for everything i didn't need and i'm happy and look at this sky in the space of what an hour beautiful so my plan now is to get home put everything away light my new candles yes i got candles i forgot to mention that i've got two candles <laughs> not four candles <laughs> if you know you know i didn't get four candles i got two candles um yeah got two candles and i'm just happy i'm actually gonna drive home without the sat nav wild wild i'm living life so on the edge it's insane um yeah so our plan today is that we've got the grandchildren coming at i've just uploaded my video for claire's crafty corner my first video back which has, just feels like the biggest weight off of my shoulders but in a good way like it's not a, whoa 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 left 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 thank you Shh. thought someone was gonna um crash <laughs> crash into me as they were reverse parking um yeah we've got the grandchildren coming i've just uploaded the video from the other channel they're coming at half past 12 we're gonna have them for a couple hours and then their dad and tim my other half are gonna go to the county tip to take some bits to the county tip um that didn't fit in the skip the skip is full we hired a skip i don't know if i've mentioned that this that's full up so they do have to go to the tip and get rid of all the things that didn't fit in the skip i should have got a bigger skip but anyway um and then at five o'clock today we're going to the circus we're going to the circus i'm i have never been so excited um when we first moved here everyone said oh there's a fair in town and you know it, 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 they they park in a certain specific place every year and then someone told me a couple of weeks ago the circus is coming to town and i was like immediately yes thank you very much booked my tickets um haven't been to the circus since i was a little girl a little little girl when the circus used to have animals <laughs> they don't have animals anymore thankfully it's like all it's more i guess like acrobatics and stunts and all of the crazy hanging from the ceiling trapezium and trapezium trapeze trapeze trapezium's a shape isn't it i don't know <laughs> anyway circus go to the circus at five o'clock and it didn't dawn on me until i uploaded my video for my other channel that i'm gonna miss my live chat i'm gonna miss everyone in the live chat i've literally like i've set this video to go live tonight for the first time that i'm back and i'm not even gonna be there because i'm gonna be in the circus and it didn't occur to me at the time but i will send my love and apologies and i'll keep it open for everyone oh my god this is boring i'm just happy because i'm happy i can smell one of the candles from here my goodness me that's strong anyway i have got frozen food in the back so i need to go let's go it was uh, definitely a supermarket that A, I could get to easily once I'd learned the way and B, I'll definitely be going back because yeah, I just found it all so pleasant, definitely pleasant. The grandchildren came over and started carving the pumpkins. Like the pumpkins look really, really fresh. I would show you on screen what they looked like after just four days and you just wouldn't believe it guys you would not believe it they fully and utterly collapsed in on themselves and at the bottom of each pumpkin there was around an inch to two inches of green fur like it, they were so bad so i don't know what went wrong there anyway this is me showing you my kitchen because it was clean and it never happens so if it doesn't go on the internet did it ever really happen but yeah it did happen for all of six minutes this is a circus. I was so excited, guys. My expectations were so high. I grew up going to the circus as a child, but the circus I grew up going to as a child was five times the size of this. Five times the size of this tent. And I'll be honest, um, it wasn't for me. Not at all. I <laughs> Halfway through, I was like, oh my God, how much longer have we got, please? But the children loved it and that's what mattered. They had the best time. They were laughing at all of the jokes that I guess the adult just it just went over adults heads you know it was just like oh but but for three-year-olds five years old they were loving it they were absolutely loving it and that is what matters there was a lot of adults in the chairs like okay <laughs> um but again hey 
my, I think I think I just had high expectations for this fantastical event, and it was a little bit. It, yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have set it, set my expectations so high. Basically, I did not have a good time. But I appreciate the skill, and I appreciated everything that they do. We then had a really weird weather for a couple of days. It was so hot, like around the 17th, 18th of October and not a fan, guys. I'm ready for my jumpers. I've got my jumpers, my hoodies. I've got everything ready. I've got my scarves and you're throwing summer back. It is Friday and I'm going out, out. Not just out, but I'm going out, out. I'm going to a country music show. <laughs> um, it's, I think it's all of the country stars but predominantly Dolly Parton. So I've got my mum's, Tim just called it a lariat. I didn't know that's what it was called. Um, I just always called it the shoelace. My mum used to wear this gorgeous shoelace. Um, whenever she sang on stage, my mum was a country singer when she had us. And yeah, we used to go and watch her in all of her shows. And she always had this around her neck and she gave it to me. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's really heavy. Um, so yeah, I've got my mum's shoelace on. I'm tempted. Don't know if I will, but I'm tempted to wear my dolly hat. How y'all doing there, sir? <laughs> um, I got this when I saw Dolly in concert in London at the O2. I know, George. You've never seen your mama dressing like this. I know, right? It's so exciting. I'm so excited, guys. I'm going out for the first time since moving here. So I'm super excited and I can't wait. Um, I'm going out with Tim's daughter. I'm going to talk normally now. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> the options were um, Tim's daughter was going to come here and look after George or she was going to come with me and leave Tim at home. Well, you know which one Tim chose. So we're having a country concert at the local theatre. They do some cool shows. So yeah, when I saw two weeks ago that they've got this country music extravaganza endorsed by Dolly Parton herself, I was like, let me book me a ticket on that. I'll get two tickets. Whoever wants to come can come and whoever doesn't want to come, don't come. So yeah, I'm ready. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll film, but I might get a little snippet of snippet. I might get a little bit islands in the stream. That is what we are. Of days later now we were not allowed to film inside the venue we were not allowed to film any part of the show at all it was strictly prohibited and I didn't want to risk it um, but it was oh, oh it was amazing it was amazing they're called country superstars you'll find them on Facebook they actually tour the whole of Europe they're not just UK based they have their 13 year old daughter on board with them she also sings she came out she was phenomenal like future star um, so the, the partnership, they were basically like a Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers tribute group. Um, they've been on the one show, they've been on the news like, oh guys, 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 guys. I was in my element, I'm not going to lie. I think I was probably the liveliest person there, if I'm honest. Um, but Tim's daughter loved it. She was, she didn't really, she was like, I'm not sure I'm going to know who these people are. But as soon as they started singing, you know, country roll. I, she was like, I know this song, I know this song, and I beg your pardon. Ah, uh, it was, I had the most fun, the most fun. So literally husband and wife team, and they're no longer just Dolly and Kenny Rogers, right? They do all of the country greats. They had Garth Brooks, Shania Twain, Willie Nelson, John Denver, Johnny Cash, um... Tammy Wynette, Loretta Lynn, uh, the list goes on and on and on. I think there was approximately 17, I think they said 17 country greats and each each time they changed their clothes, their wig, their outfit, their makeup, their shoes, their everything, they'd come out and sing three songs and then she would introduce him as the next artist and he would come out, different hair, different beard, phenomenal, phenomenal. 
honestly, who's that guy? You fill up my senses like a night in the forest. Oh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, that one as well. Um, Billy Joe Spears. Oh, it was the best night. Honestly, the talent. Oh, the talent. And they had a band um, with them at all times singing no playing all of the instruments the banjo like the proper country guitars and i i loved it and it was pure quality and her sarah her name is as a dolly parton tribute act wow like wow i would say she does dolly parton that was probably her beginnings that's where she began and i would say it it was so much more dolly parton than any of the other acts were um, them you know so she really specializes in Dolly Parton and what even when she laughed you know if anyone here knows Dolly Parton but I'm a huge Dolly Parton fan and when she laughed Dolly Parton's got this little up squeak in her laugh mm. <laughs> <laughs> this woman has it down to a T so every time she laughed I couldn't help but laugh um, it was genuinely the best night the show started at half past seven we got out of there at 20 past in the night that was with a 20 minute interval in the middle fully recommend it if you're into country or just old school music you know um then 100 recommend go see it worth every single second that you're going to spend in that theater and yeah they've done london they've done the adelphi in central london they've done some amazing events um but yeah i i would 100 percent go back and see them like it was the best night um and i think i was probably annoying people with my with my energy but i don't care <laughs> i don't care we have come to the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching there was so much more i wanted to talk about guys like netflix oh my gosh i'm the person that says i haven't got enough time i haven't got enough time in the day to get these jobs done and yet here i am binge watching netflix nobody wants this have you seen it nobody wants this it's so good it was so good i was hooked from the second i pressed play and i watched all episodes in a in a in the space of a couple of hours like each i think each episode was like 30 minutes long so it was a really quick and easy series to watch nobody wants this fully recommend um a blog post she's a vlogger she's a blogger she's a blogger talking about all things sex and she falls in love with a rabbi <laughs> it's so good it's so good um but there's a little bit of obviously there's going to be that religious conflict in there but it was done in a comed comedy way in a really beautiful comedy way it wasn't too tragic or harsh but watch it watch it watch it the other thing i just watched yesterday it was super dark oh my god um woman of the hour that is really really dark based on a true story with anna kendrick as director it was dark really really dark um there were moments where i thought oh my gosh please don't don't do it and and anyway i don't want to spoil it but it is based on a true story which makes it all the more tragic um but yeah woman of the hour it's it's a true story it's very harrowing very very dark but it's phenomenal like it's phenomenal acting and all of that but yeah two complete polar opposites i finished my gilmore girls binge all seven seasons in the last month since we've moved in because autumn you have to when autumn comes and then i watched gilmore girls year in the life again not a fan i'm not a fan of gilmore girls year in the life i find it hard even though i said we're at the end of the vlog sod it um i find i'm not good with I'm okay getting older I'm quite like the fact that I'm 48 next birthday doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me but when I see other people that have aged 30 to 40 years and I'm like what what's going on when I first watched Gilmore Girls I thought it was a recent thing and when I learned that you know Alexis Badil is now grown married with kids I was like and everyone's just so much older now and I don't handle that very well so when I was watching A Year in the Life I was honestly crying at how much older everyone had gotten and I don't know why but I just don't handle it very well again I'm okay with myself growing older but when I see the impact of age on other people I don't I don't like it <laughs> 
okay I don't like it I want everyone to stay young forever but yeah let me know if you've got any Netflix recommendations for my next binge when I haven't got time to do anything so I sit down and press play um but yeah anyway we are waiting for a storm to roll in today we've got storm Ashley heading our way we're gonna be okay down here I think just really strong winds and rain it's up north of Scotland out of Hebrides that are risk to life massive weather warnings 80 mile an hour winds flooding and all of that jazz but um yeah I'm just watching this magpie staring at me staring at him <laughs> Thank you so much if you've watched to the end. I appreciate you all. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. The kitchen is trashed again. It got trashed within seven minutes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we're still very much in the organization throes of what is gonna go where. Do you know in the kitchen cupboards, what's gonna go where? We're still working it out and we've been here six weeks. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you hopefully next week if I can get everything done. <laughs>